well. I'm about a thousand kilometers into my trip, which probably take me to almost about 3,000 kilometers in one sitting. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of sitting down. I, the first uh, third of my trip for about 600 kilometers, there was no radio station, um, no mobile telephone coverage, and no one to talk to. And uh, I was going to be crazy. Mm, and um, the uh, four-wheel drive that I'm in was uh, full of mosquitoes and flies from when I left the desert. And um, they were killing me. seven worst hours of my life. Uh, no, it's a bit of an exaggeration. It was pretty bad. Uh, but now I'm in Victoria, crossed over from South Australia. Um, and I'm in search of Kwandongs. Uh, I've seen a lot of trees um, in the desert. They're a, they're, a pa they're a parasitic tree. It's the, and another name for them is a desert peach. Um, and they live off the water supply and nutrient supply of other trees. And uh, so it was very phenomenal doing a, quite a lot of um, searching for Kwandongs in, in different valleys in the desert. And um, so I've become a little bit obsessed. I've seen a lot of signs for Kwandong pie and Kwandong jam and all that sort of stuff during the night. And even during the day, a lot of the shops um, have been closed. So I haven't come across any. I, I did get some... Uh, Kwandong jam, Outback Pride Kwandong jam, and um, also some syrup. But uh, thanks to Facebook, I've been able to um, get a lot of people that have pointed me in the direction of uh, a bakery on um, on Deacon Avenue in Mildura. So I'm headed there. My mission to get some Kwandong pie. Let's see, let's see how we go. Until then, it's one more hour of anticipation and uh, a basic excitement.